Hello guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the Seveso Photoshop action to create some very sophisticated see-through effects on your photos. These are some images I created for you. So you can see the power of this action. There are lots of details, lots of layers that you will be able to easily customize. Lots of color options and many more. Okay. To use this action, you will have to load some resources that the action will use. These are the brushes and, uh, of course, the action. So, first, let's load the brushes. Go to the brush tool. I'm gonna click here and here and select load brushes. And we are going to load the Seveso effect brushes. Okay, now we have the brushes available. The action will use these brushes later. And now for the action, we're going to load the action. Seveso Photoshop action. Okay, here it is. And now we are ready to start. Actually, this item is a, uh, let's say, uh, template action system. It contains a template and an action. We will open the template, which is a PSD file, the Seveso template. It is blank right now nothing visible and we'll have to place our uh, portrait or photo inside the template so we will open the subject smart layer we'll double double click on it and now we have the smart layer opened Make sure you see in the smart layer the guidelines. These guidelines are made so you can put the eyes of the, the image of the person in the image here. If you don't see the guidelines, go to view, show and make sure guides is on. Okay, let's bring an image. Mm. Yeah. Okay, we'll bring this guy. Resize the image. So the eyes would fit in these squares. A bit bigger. Maybe a little bit bigger. Well, something like that can also rotate the image if you like okay we'll press, press OK as you see the eyes are somewhere here it's not very important and now we, we will uh, close the smart layer 
we are asked if you want to save we do want to save this model here okay and now this the the entire template is being updated because uh, there are multiple copies of the smart layer used in the template they will be the skin pieces that you have seen in those photos okay almost ready ah okay you won't see anything right now but we are actually nearly close to completion now we have to mark the area of the portrait which uh, we want the effect to be concentrated upon so there is a, an empty brush layer here I selected it and in this empty layer I'm going to use a brush a hard brush the round default one something like that bigger and I'm going to brush in over the face okay it doesn't have to be perfect and don't worry if you do not brush the entire face or something like that the action will take care of everything something like that okay so we have marked the area of interest and now we'll go to our action select it service of effect and click play and the action is working and has created the effect okay as you can see there are multiple layers opened we have some groups they are organized into these groups and the main group, the CVSO effect group, the color filters group, which is uh, turned off now, we can turn it on for a more dramatic look. It has some vibrance, curves, and a photo filter. You don't have to use this uh, for every photo, it's on it only brings a more dramatic look to the final. Uh, result and in the Seveso effect the action has created uh, some masks using the brushes and basically the effects are now visible all these layers which are copies of the smart layer we placed our photo in the first time are using uh, vector masks these are vector masks which uh, define the skin pieces the advantage of the vector masks um, is that they can be easily modified and preserve their quality so if you look closely you will see a vector mask here 
which doesn't look good covering the teeth of our subject because his mouth is a bit bigger being opened and we will have to find which skin piece is you can go from the layers panel and select it chin 1 chin 2 or you could just use the the selection tool with the auto select and click on the image and the appropriate layer is being selected so we know know that is the piece 3 skin uh, chin 2 click on the vector mask which is now selected this is the area of it and we'll have to reposition this vector mask you can do that using uh, control T on Windows or go to edit transform path scale and now actually instead of scaling it which we can do we will drag it and replace it and maybe even edit transform path rotate to rotate a bit like that okay so basically we repositioned a skin piece and now we will run the action again and as you see the results are regenerated in a different way keeping the skin pieces uh, in the same position so you will have to move the skin pieces as you like you have this freedom but the action generates effects randomly on them so one more thing we can do notice how the this mouthpiece skin piece is uh, actually cutting a part of the lip so I clicked on it with the auto select on I selected this layer I click on the smart layer on the vector mask of the smart layer so we have it visible and we now want to edit this uh, this mask which is a vector path so we will have to go to the pen tool we will select the delete anchor point tool click somewhere on the path and now we see the path control points which defines each of them defines the curvature of the path go to add anchor point and click on a control point and we'll drag it or maybe change its curvature or some more maybe another one maybe this one there is a lot of freedom you have 
with this action to create results as you want them to be because this is not just an action it is a a template okay and we have changed uh, the mouth or maybe play a bit with the nose select the nose layer select the vector mask and do that again the delete anchor point click on it so we can see the anchor points the control points click on the plus add anchor point tool now we can play a bit with the nose or maybe add another point something like that okay as you can see there are many skin pieces which are vector masks they are based on vector mask you can turn them on or off as you wish for some of them I actually placed the color control as you can see with this uh, this part from uh, inside the nose here it is without the color control and with that you can double click and edit to replace you can add your own color controls I will hold down the alt key go to the solid color and check use previous layer to create clipping mask now we can add a color to a specific skin piece you can actually use a blending mode because we now we have the color fully over the shape of the skin maybe we want to blend it with the texture of the skin so let's use a multiply maybe you will want to move the eye the same select the layer select the vector mask edit transform path scale and drag it to wherever you want okay if you want you can run the action for as many times as you want the inside effects will be regenerated according to your shapes you may have edited them prior to running the action also let's go to the subject margin texture which has a drop shadow applied as you can see there is a shadow around this margin which is the margin you brushed the first time you can disable that 
to change the look, the feeling of death. Or you can keep it on. As you can see, there are some inner layers of veins of different colors. You will find them in the effects group 2 folder. There are the veins 1 and 2, which have color fields applied. Let's say we want to make this some green. these veins blue or also green okay okay also want to change the inside color which is this dark texture deep inside it is a solid color with the mask of the area we brushed and it is set to 75% opacity you can toggle it to 100 or lower it as you can see it can be very dark or something in between or maybe you will want to change it double click on it and put a different color Or bright red or dark red you may want to reposition some of these smaller skin pieces which I showed you for example this do the same click on the layer click on the vector mask Go to Edit, Transform Path, Scale, and Redrag it. Where you find it most suitable. Maybe here. Okay. Or maybe you want to change the shadows or the eyes. Go to drop shadow, blending option, and change its opacity or the distance or its size okay As you can see, the action has uh, a lot of possibilities because there are many layers. You are in control of all of them. And uh, you can run the action again and again to change the 
the way these results look. And all these effects are created using a smart layer, a defined area, and an action. Hope you guys like my uh, tutorial, like my action, and wish you the best results with it. Find it only on graphicriver.net.